Heart disease is, is still the number one disease that causes death in the, in the Western societies and it's becoming even important in the developing world as, uh, as they develop sadly some of the same lifestyle diseases that we have here. And uh, cholesterol, at least as we understand in the year 2014, is still an important factor in heart disease. We were trying to understand what makes good cholesterol good and bad cholesterol bad. We found out that in the human body when people have different levels of good cholesterol, our model suggests that that really will become a, a good factor so that their bodies can take the cholesterol that may be deposited in their arteries and bring it back to the liver. However, when medicines are being developed to raise the level of good cholesterol, we found that it really depends precisely on how you raise the level of good cholesterol as to whether it will have a beneficial effect on heart disease. We focused on how the different lipoprotein particles, the particles that carry cholesterol to and from different tissues in the body, uh, interact with each other. What we've tried to do is to understand how the biology actually works and use mathematics to represent the different biological processes that are involved in cholesterol metabolism. I, I would say at this stage we found a kind of a happy meeting point where the questions that we asked could be addressed by uh, the model that we developed. But certainly as more data comes to the field, uh, our model will surely show limitations and that would be uh, raising new questions that would have to be addressed by further developing a model.